Hello, in this demo we're going to be looking at how we would place custom artwork onto this football helmet model that we're offering. So upon purchasing this model you will receive an email that will have a link to the file to download. So you'll download this black helmet zip and we'll start from there. So first thing we'll do is double click on the zip file. We'll get a folder, black helmet folder that will have all the files in it. So right here we have the redshift version the standard res renderer version we have an obj and the fbx available as well so that's the files that come with the purchase and then on top of that we'll have a photoshop file that will have um, a guide to placing your artwork so start with that we'll open the guide file and this is what you'll see upon opening you'll have a place uh, to place your artwork right here the, your design file here will be the area that the logo should go for your helmet. So let's start by showing how the process of adding some artwork would go. Um, in this example, I've prepared some artwork and have it ready to uh, position on the helmet. So let's go ahead and duplicate this over to the file. Start with right clicking on the background and placing it into the artwork file, let's see. So now that I've imported that, I'm going to create a smart object and then We'll move it into position and scale it up a little bit. Probably don't want to scale your artwork. You want to have better uh, sizing artwork to start. But for the purpose of this example, let's just go with this. Uh, let's place it there. And then let's create a background color um, and place it match the color here. So we have there. You can see the, actually go with a darker belt. You can see the edge of the artwork there. So I'm going to do a little work on that go to blending options and then let's go and um, remove the let's see, underlying layer alright it's not working there there we go that's what we want so gonna remove the, the value there and we'll just have the artwork there okay we're good to go there we don't have any edges or anything so now what we want to do, now that this is placed over the guide, let's see, I'll turn it about 50% there. We can move it up a little bit right there. That's where we want to place it. And then now we can go ahead and file, export, save for web. We can drop the file size down a bit with the quality setting here to speed up your loading process on your render as if we would leave it at 100%. Um, we would have a 2.6 megabyte file, and let's see, you can tell that the image um, here, if we drop it to 60 from 100, uh, you won't be able to see the difference much, and the size will be much smaller, so we'll go with that, save it, and we'll go into our directory, or that open with the zip file, go into the texture folder, and then replace the update this file with your design JPEG. So right now the file, Photoshop file is saved with the name, the same name convention. We'll just have to sit and hit save. And then we'll go to replace and it will update the file for us. Then we're going to go into the Redshift version for the demo. Double click it, open it, Cinema 4D, and then you'll see the artwork is now on the helmet here. So we can go ahead and start customizing the coloring on the different parts of the helmet as well inside of Cinema 4D here. So let's go ahead and open a render view. I'll drop this down to a little smaller so we can do the demo in the screen here. Um, okay, and then we'll just hit start preview rendering. Let it load for a second. And there we go, there's our helmet. So if we want to update the colors of the helmet to coincide with the design and the logo we would go to each part and change colors so in the face mask uh, material here we're going to go ahead and add make this like a, a yellow or like an orange something that would match with that logo maybe something brighter there a little bit more orangey A 
something like that. And then we can do the pads, inner pads, if we want to make those like a different color. Um, you know, something more in line with the design. Do the helmet strip. Let's make that like yellow. Maybe a little bit more orangey yellow. There we go. And then top stripe, we can make that. Maybe, you know, go black or something. Like that. Everything's customizable. So if you want to make your design different from what opens out of the box, go ahead and change all these materials. One other thing we can do is on the helmet, if you wanted to play with like the style of reflection, right now it's a very like sharp reflection on the surface. So if you wanted to make it more like a matte, you can play with the roughness value of the reflection and you know it will kind of like spread it across the surface and make it a little bit more diffuse. You can also bring down the weight of the reflection to make it less. So all this stuff is, is changeable to go with however you want it. You can also go into the helmet and then we can open the edit shader graph and we can go at a color correct uh, color correct node and then tr we would pipe the texture into the input here and then the co out color into the diffuse color. Uh, right now it's already piped in there so we just want to un unplug it and then plug it into drop the out color over the blue, let go, base properties, diffuse, diffuse color. That will bring uh, a color correct node between our color map and the material. So now we can do a color or uh, levels adjustment on the actual texture. So if we wanted to make it more contrasty, like there we're seeing the, the colors kind of get more saturated. Um, we can do adjustments right here in the in the node editor on the actual texture map. This can be helpful if you have like a color, a flat color instead of a black color that would kind of interfere with like the reflection. Sometimes it will help to be able to adjust the right on the fly in, in uh, Cinema 4D to rather than go back into Photoshop and adjust your colors there, you can just do it right here inside the software. So that's basically it. It's a simple process. Use Photoshop to make your logo placement on the model and then go ahead and open it in Cinema 4D and then change your colors on the design and you'll be good to go. And that's, that's the demo for you. Thanks for watching.